Hello, this is Flamin' Pringle, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. And in the last episode, we went through the route and we made our way to Violet City, we explored around. And in this episode, we are going to get a lot of training done by going through Sprout Tower. And we get a very valuable prize in the end. See, you can... Now, Sprout Tower, you're gonna see a lot of Bell Sprouts. Hope you like Bell Sprouts, because I don't. And there are quite some wild Pokemon inside this place. I'm not gonna just skip battling them because it's kinda important to be battling wild Pokemon, especially in the condition I'm in. Looks like we got a trainer battle in here. There's gonna be plenty of those, which is why I was sure to stock up on some potions. And he sent out a Bell Sprouts, which is what is to be expected. Wild Bell Sprouts and trainers to have Bell Sprouts. The kind of grass type moves is going to use it and affect me though, but using Totodile, then you should be worried. Fine Whip. They think they're gonna beat me just by hitting Fine Whip. So it looks like we got an item. We get a Paralyzed Cell. And the Raven. I don't know if we're gonna get soon, but it'd be pretty nice to have in case if one of them has sun like a stun spore or something like that. Ciao. Ciao me. Vine Whip again. Yeah, they think they're gonna really help. They think Vine Whip really helps against Pokemon where they have a huge type disadvantage. Problem is I don't know any good fire type moves yet. Finally! It's about time, it's about the longest it's ever taken in the whole walkthrough so far.
Okay, Ming, thank you for battling. Let me go to the next floor. While we're here, get yourself an exit then. Which I don't think I'm ever gonna be using. Well, I'm pretty sure the microphone picked that up. Okay, so Sage Edmund wants to battle. Be nice to learn Ember pretty soon. Taken. It's another bell sprout down. Looks like we got level 12. And Cyndaquil has learned Ember. Finally. Looks like we got another bell sprout to deal with. We need Ember. We should take it out in one hit. He's a wimp now. He's got nothing to hide. He knows he sucks. Another potion. Good. I just used tackle instead. I could have just taken it out in one hit. All right. So that was that battle was easy enough, but I could have like finished it a bit faster. You know, I don't see the harm in using. Potion right now. All right, so it looks like we got another battle here. This time it's with Neil Armstrong. Do your thing, Ember. You know, even though it's not necessary, I'm gonna battle this guy. Because I can use the train. Gotten a new Pokemon like ever since. I'm probably not going to be able to do so until after I defeat the gym leader.
So, first hit hit we've seen. Okay, looks like we've beaten Troy. Wasn't necessary, but it was nice training. What's that? Oh no! What the heck is going on here? Somebody I did not expect to see here. Calling the Elder weak? What is his problem? You only care about strong Pokemon who can win? Oh yeah? What a butthole. I found an escape rope. Well, this guy says he is the final test where you get your special prize in the end. He's got three Pokemon. His first one is Bill Sprout, which again is gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. If you got Cyndaquil. If you got Totodile, you're toast. And this is also a reason why if you got Chikorita, you're toast. I don't know why... I'm still using Ember on Hoot Hoot. It's not... Identified Cyndaquil, okay. Planning something. And Hoot Hoot has fainted. And Cyndaquil has grown to level 14. That means good news. And you'll find out what I mean by good news in case you don't already know what's about to happen. What is this? Look at this magical. You know, your Pokemon evolving is one of the reasons why they claim that Pokemon was the work of a devil. That it, it that it promotes evol the theory of evolution, which some forms of Christianity think is a bunch of bullcrap. The Catholics, I believe in that, and I am Catholic, so. I believe in. I believe in it. But you know, doesn't mean there's no god behind it. But anyway, got HM5, which is Flash, the special prize I was talking about. It's kind of necessary in the game, and you can't use it outside of battle unless you defeat Falconer. All right, we can use the escape rope and get out of here now. Alright, so we did get some training out of going through. We have Quilava now, he is no longer Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's no more, it's now Quilava. But I think now is going to be the time to wrap things up for now. I'm Flaming Pringle, and I'll see you in the next episode where we will take on Gym Leader Falconer. I will do some training outside of video, but not really a lot because I'm not sure that much is going to be necessary. But, you know, I think I'll I think you'll be hearing from me in the next episode where we will 